Today I'm going to show you how to diamond paint. The simplest way, using everything that's included with your kit. The only thing you really need are scissors or skizzers, as my friend likes to call them. So today, this is the example kit we're using Sharing Knowledge by Jackie Traverse. If you're interested in this kit, I actually have an unboxing video on my channel. So I pulled out the diamond painting. This is our diamond painting. This is what came with it, our tool kit and our drills or beads or whatever you want to call them, diamonds. They're not diamonds because they're not made out of diamonds. So this is our toolkit, very simple starter toolkit. The majority of diamond paintings that you do buy are going to come with this toolkit. What's included, you ask? We have two baggies. We have wax. This is your diamond painting wax. And we have a pen, a simple pen, nothing fancy. You'll probably, if you do get into diamond painting, you'll probably want to upgrade this pen. There are amazing pens that you can upgrade to, but we're going to use everything in this toolkit. So first of all, this is our legend. So on the left-hand side of this canvas, we have our legend. So it's numbered 1, 2, 24. So there's 24 different colors. Here are the symbols that you're going to find on your diamond painting canvas, drill area, and this is a drill number, AKA a DMC number. If you're new to diamond painting and you're just giving it out, giving it a try, you can ignore this drill number DMC column because you don't really care about that. That's basically the number or like the special number that's assigned to that color in the DMC universe. This image is 45 by 35 centimeters. If you're just starting out and you have a kit, I'm imagining that you'll have one that's similar in this size, 30 by 40 is very popular. Anyways, so what we want to do is I start, you can start wherever you want. There's no wrong or right place to start. I like to start all the time in the bottom right hand corner. And that's just me. That's just me. So let's prep our pen so that we can actually lay down diamonds or drills, whatever you want to call them. So we pull out our pen. This is the wax. And it's important to remember that when you get a wax like this, there's two layers of, or there's two sides to it, and both sides have a clear, a little clear transparent cover. So peel off the cover on one side of your wax, and then what you're gonna do is simply stab your wax, stab it violently. No, just kidding, you don't have to stab it violently. And you'll notice that the wax stays inside of the pen. I don't know if you guys can see that because I can't see my camera very well, but it stays inside of the pen. So I just stab it a couple of times just to make sure that this tip is full of wax. And it is a success, this tip is full of wax. So that is done. We can find our transparent square Oh my goodness, okay. Find our transparent square, replace that on top and throw this wax aside. These bags, we'll throw this aside for now. We wanna dig into the drills. So if we're starting on the bottom right, the first thing we're gonna look at is let's choose a color. So the simplest color to choose is probably six because it looks like it's a black and there's gonna be six throughout this area because six is this outline. There's little, in the flowers here in her hair, there's gonna be the number six, the symbol six. So we'll look over here and we'll see, okay, symbol six is number one. So we'll look in our drill package for the first color. And drill packages usually have a number assigned to them. So a five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on. So we need to find number one, which I see it because it's right there. So we'll pull out number one. Here's number one. So I'm just gonna cut it. So it separates this package from the rest. Okay, so here's our here are our drills for the color that we're going to be starting or the symbol. I'm going to cut a little hole in on the side, a little slit at the top. I'm going to pour some into this tray. That should be enough for now. Put that aside so it doesn't spill. Oh my god, so it doesn't spill. And then I'm going to simply tilt my tilt my tray back and forth so that the drills line up within the grooves of the tray. Simple, right? And then I don't wanna cover, I don't wanna uncover, like you can do this if you want to. This is the way I do it. 
I don't want to uncover this entire diamond painting just to do like a small section here. So what I like to do is I like to take my scissors and I like to find, like maybe we'll split this up into three different columns. So what I'll do is I'll find a little area, cut to make it like square, and cut whatever size you want, it doesn't matter. So now I can simply pull up this section while having the rest of my diamond painting covered so my arm isn't going to touch the glue, I'm not gonna get stuff in the glue, etc. And then I'm just gonna fold it down so it stays, oops, so it stays. I messed up my tray, so I'm just gonna shake this again to make sure all the drills are lined up. Oh my God. Huh. And later in life, if you're like, I love diamond painting, I'm obsessed with it, buy yourself a bigger tray can confirm it will help you, but we're just using everything that's included in this kit. So now that we have our drills lined up in our tray, well, we're gonna take our, bro our pen and simply take a drill by, by putting your pen on top of it and then putting it over number six. And basically, diamond painting, the secret to diamond painting is repeating that a million times. So, <laughs> this is gonna take forever. I don't know how people single place. Okay, so that's diamond painting. Okay, end of the video, bye, see you. <laughs> but that's diamond painting, basically. But later on, if you do get a kit, and you're like, what is this weird thing that's included with the kit? And you might get something that looks like this. This is what's called a multiplacer. So this this little like plastic, it looks like a plastic tab. I don't know. At first I was like, what is this thing? Why is this in my kit? It's a multiplacer. So if you're like dotting, dotting, as some people say, diamond painting one drill at a time like this is so time consuming. And for me, I love the process of diamond painting, but I'm a lazy potato and I literally don't wanna do one at a time. I'd rather do four at a time, 12 at a time. So you'll use this multi-placer, which actually fits into your pen. So you'll get this pen and then they'll come with something like this. So this already is preloaded with, um, with putty, but of course, if we're using everything that's included in our kit, we would just preload this with the wax by stabbing it into the wax. And then what you do is you have all your drills nicely lined up and you're like, okay, I'm just gonna power through this black color by using my multi-placer. So what you do is you have your drills lined up, you basically pick them up with the multi-placer end and then you're like, okay, where's there four? Where's there four, drill, four of the symbol six in a row? And then you can see that now I am not doing them one at a time. I'm actually doing them four at a time. Look at me go. I'm a diamond painting machine. Am I made out of AI? I am a robot. This is how you multi-place. Um, and then if you screw up, like I did just now, just pick it up and put it down. And the nice thing about diamond painting is, yes, if you do screw up, you can simply just slide the drill around. Sometimes it's a bit difficult depending on the glue on your kit, but you can be like, oh, that's not meant to be there. Let me slide it to the right symbol, that type of thing. So it's really easy, like nothing is permanent in diamond painting. If you put the wrong color down on the wrong symbol, it's fine, don't worry about it. You can just pick it off with tweezers or you can just pick it off with your pen. And now I have a rogue drill, so I'm just gonna slide it over. And the more you use your multi-placer, the easier things will get for you. Okay, so let's pretend, let's pretend that, hey, we filled in all the six. Obviously, I didn't fill in the six, but we're just gonna pretend that all of the symbol six has been filled in. I'm done with this color. But now what? Do I pour it back in here and hope that it, it doesn't get, doesn't leak everywhere or spill everywhere? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover up my diamond painting. And this is also one of the perks if you cut a slit in the cover, then you have this nice little tab thing that pulls down and you can cover up the area you're working in. What I like to do is if I'm not working out of plastic containers and I'm just working out of these bags is I'll pour it back into the bag. Oh, I suck, okay. 
This is not, I'm not a smooth diamond painter when it comes to this, apparently. So if you spill your drills, what I like to do is shove them all into a pile with my, my fingers, and then I just pick them up with my fingers, and then I sprinkle them back into the bag. But okay, so let's pretend I did not do that, and they all just slid into the bag nicely. And don't forget, when diamond painting companies put these drill bags together, they usually, usually, if they're a good company, will include at least like 20% more drills than you actually need. So if you spill some, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. So I'm done with this color. Um, I could just technically just set this aside and hope that I don't spill it. I could put tape on it or I could use these baggies. So I'm going to use the baggie. And what I like to do when I'm not working out of containers is I could, I, I, one thing I could do is pour out this entire bag into this baggie and then just label it with a permanent marker number one. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to shove this in here. And then, now it's not going to spill out. I don't have to worry about pouring it in and I can just shove this to the side. And then later on, if I have another color that I'm working on and I'm finished it, I can shove it in this bag. So this bag could technically hold two little packages of drills. And remember, we got two of these baggies. So, I mean, if you do want to work out of baggies, I would recommend buying a bunch of these, like maybe a bit bigger ones, like maybe, what's this? Like this size, okay, there's a bracelet in it. Ignore the bracelet. But you can buy these bags from like the dollar store or like the craft store. And then you can just put your drills by color in within these bags. If you're like, I don't want to work out of bags. Bags are annoying. Later on, invest in a nice set of containers. So this is, let me move the chocolate that's on it. These are my containers. I simply labeled them number one, two, 48. So it goes down to 48. And so if I was done number one, symbol, the first symbol like that I just did on my diamond painting, I would just pour the drills into here. Or another way you can prep for your diamond painting is going through all of these drills and pouring them into the corresponding container. These are Harbor Freight containers. I have a video on these. Um, you can, if you're in the United States of America, I'm in Canada, you can actually buy these from Harbor Freight. There's also another storage video that I did where I have storage options um, that are really affordable and you can buy them like basically off Amazon, AliExpress, wherever, Timu whatever you may choose. So that's basically all you need to know for diamond painting. Again, I would recommend if after you're done your first kit and you know that you love, love diamond painting, get yourself a bigger tray. It does not have to be a fancy one like this. This is by Muni Maid. They have bigger trays on AliExpress and Timu for like a dollar, two dollars. This I think was, and there's some drills still on it, but this I think was like $20 Canadian or something like that. But they have ones on AliExpress, Amazon for like two or three dollars. And they're just they're just bigger versions of this, which are nice. And then um, again, if you want to get serious, upgrade your pen. There's a whole bunch of pen makers who make very beautiful pens. These two are from Enablers Outpost. I'll put the link down below. They're very like cust like diamond painting pens that are custom handmade or whatever, like these out of resin or acrylic are very expensive. But AliExpress does have, let me find, do I have one? Yes, AliExpress does have pens like this and Amazon, sorry, AliExpress and Amazon. Do you have pens like this that you can buy for like, 15 20 dollars and you can tell from looking at the pink pens they're a little bit thicker and they have like grooves for your hand and basically you buy the pen and they usually come with one of these installed um like a pen tip but what you can do is if you have you'll accumulate a ton of these pink pens so what you can do is you can actually just take off this and put it into your amazon pen or whatever you um, you might have to push harder than that. I'm not going to do it because my fingers hurt already. Um, but you can like put the tips in. You can add in your multi-placer from your kit. And you, can, and you can also buy packs of these as well, which is really nice. Um, there's like, there's four, there's two, there's six, there's nine, there's 12, there's 15, for example. So for me, this is a 
14 placers, so I can place 14 drills at the same time. <laughs> this has not been used in a while. There's already drills stuck to it. Um, and then later on as well, you can, if you're like, I really like this pink wax, keep using the pink wax. There's nothing wrong with using the pink wax, but if you do want to upgrade, there are other companies who make, there's putty, there's different diamond painting waxes that are scented, um, et cetera, et cetera. So there's tons of different things you can do when, when you know that like, hey, I'm super into diamond painting. I want to invest in this as my hobby. There's tons of different things you can do to upgrade your pro... Uh, upgrade your kit so it's more pro. Um, this is again showing you how to diamond paint with just the beginner stuff and the beginner stuff is fine. Like there's lots of people who have been diamond painting for like over a year and they literally don't use anything except what comes with the kit and whatever suits you, whatever suits your budget. But um, that's how to diamond paint. Basically there's nothing magical about it. It's just relaxing. Let me know if you guys have questions below. Make sure if you are new to diamond painting, you hit my subscribe button because I do post videos of unboxing. So if you're thinking about maybe spending a little bit more on a kit from a, a licensed company, um, you can see if you want it or not by watching one of my videos. I also do post reviews so you can look at a video you can look at diamond paintings that I've completed to see how they turn out to see if like you'd actually like the, the finished version of the diamond painting you're thinking about buying. And I also have some tips, tutorials and showcase some of like uh, my finished diamond paintings, etc, etc, whatever. Make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!